Okay, let me finish this up. This is part two. I was interrupted by a phone call. I didn't put it on airplane mode, and I still haven't. I need to go ahead and get this out here to you all because I have like a few errands that I need to run and stuff, and I still must water the the um, yard. It rained all night. The wind stirred. Even the news people said they were so surprised to get that rain April 20th of 2017 in my area. The wind stirred all night, still stirring, and I think it's a blessing. It's a blessing, um, and I will not abuse what I, I've done. What I, what I've done, I have the utmost respect for Oya because she can destroy everything around here. So don't think that I'm abusing the Orisha or the Loa, the, uh, or a god, goddess, or a deity. Look, let me tell y'all something. It's all about initiation. Right now, this particular video, to be initiated or not to be initiated, I feel like if a person is not financially able to, because you can have the money, but got a whole lot of other expenses you need to do with your money, they should not be denied their ancestry. I feel like you know, this is my own personal opinion. People can get angry. People can get upset and say what they want. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because, you know, uh, I heard somebody speaking uh, uh, about me wearing a Lekie beads. They felt like that I should not have them on because I didn't earn them. And I was offending the Orishas. And uh, they were saying that I need to spend about $2,000 to, to, to go for an initiation and they were very angry. Matter of fact, they ranted for four hours, four or five hours about these Lake Yabies. It was a woman born a woman that did this. A woman born a woman. I don't call names because I don't give shine to anyone that offends me. And she went on and on and on about uh, not Baruku and everything. That's the, that's the very reason I got out of the organized religion of Catholicism. Well, I didn't have any choice. My mama got out of it. And being Baptist. Because it was too many systems, too many, you know, oh, you got to put the, the sugar in before you put the, the egg in. And, and, and that's why I did that. That's why I will remain solitary doing what I do. Um, I don't necessarily feel like you you should have to have to pay uh, fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars to be initiated. I'm not telling you all that you know you don't have to. I say follow your heart. My heart says no. Who knows in the future maybe I will. Okay, but I would rather take my two thousand dollars at this point and uh, give it to the uh, spirits rather than to. You know, give it to give it to the spirits and get some things that I really need really bad. Some things I really, really want. You know, I'd rather put two thousand dollars to finance a pontoon rather than to give two thousand dollars to a man or a woman. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you want to do that, do that. Trust me, I'm not criticizing you. I'm just telling you why at this point I want and I can't. Please respect that because I respect you. If you say, Mama, this is something I got to do. Okay, get a little bit of per percussion on my chest. You understand? But look, so I respect you, respect me. We're not going to all do things the same. You understand what I'm saying? So no, I don't believe at this point in my life I must be initiated to oil. No, I don't. I don't think I need to have someone to pick out me. Pick, to pick out for me what particular Orisha Aloha is my mother. Because it's in plain sight. You all watched the video when I called on Mama Oya the wind stirred. It started raining. Y'all seen that. Why should I have to pay someone that I don't know is able to call the Loa or the Orisha? And I can. Why should I have to pay somebody? I'm not going to pay anybody to do what I did on my own. Like I said... The Orishas show themselves to me. They come to me automatically. No, I'm not going to do it. But like I say, if you want to do it, I like I say, I love you and I wish you the best. Go for it. But don't get angry with me. 
because I have decided to go in a different direction. And if something befall me, you understand? That is, uh, y'all may say, oh gosh, look what happened to her. It's because of her not serving the Orishas right, or she not getting initiated. She was messing with something she ain't had no business. The Christian's gonna be saying the same thing. Oh, that happened to her because she was she was talking about voodoo and she was serving a, 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 them voodoo gods. It's gonna be the same way because something is going to happen to all our asses. We ain't coming here to stay. So if something happened to me, it is not necessarily because an Orisha did not find favor in me and I didn't go for an initiation or I've offended a, an Orisha. It's because it's whatever it is is already set in stone anyway. Simple as that. So if you are into a fall and you are offended with this or you into voodoo, Santeria, and you are offended with my videos, you know, which I haven't had anybody in the comment section to say anything about it. I am solitary. Y'all got to remember in hoodoo, we use a series of different practices in hoodoo. I can serve Jesus Christ when I get ready, God, and then turn around and pray that Satan come and snatch everything out your bank account. That's hoodoo, y'all. Hoodoo is the darkest practice because there are no boundaries. There are boundaries in Santeria. There are boundaries in Ifa. There are boundaries in Palomiambe. There are boundaries in uh, all of these different belief systems. There aren't any in hoodoo. And hoodoo is very sacred and secretive. And a lot of things... Me sitting up here just talking to you all, I'm breaking codes because when you're doing hoodoo, and that's not what these people call it down here, really, I mean, I mean that's what y'all call it, hoodoo. These people just call it taking care of business. They call it a job. I'm going to go and get some work done. But y'all reading all y'all books and stuff, but I know the knowledge firsthand. And no, I am not sharing with you all my secrets. I will get someone under me if the great big mama let me age and I will share information with her or him. But I ain't fixing to just fill all my secrets. To give you all my secrets is to give you my thoughts. No, I do not believe in any initiation for myself. I believe in initiation for those who seek initiation. And I love you. So I don't want nobody running around saying, oh, she said that we shouldn't get initiated. If your Bible law says that you should be initiated and they tell you who your, you know, who owns your head, who crowned you or whatever, go forward. As for me, remember, this is hoodoo for you. I can serve whatever God or goddess I want to and will. Look up hoodoo. It is comprised of many belief systems. Anyways, I hope this video helped those who are following me and those are the trolls. And I hope to shed more light on those who are in my circle. My friends, family, my lovers. You understand? And I do need to talk to one of my lovers and his name is Norwa. Norwa. Okay, I'm watching you, okay? I got my eyes on you. I mean, you got history now. Y'all, that's my uh, that's my 4D husband, okay? In the spiritual realm. Y'all didn't know that. <laughs> it's Norwa. And do not go over there running around messing with my husband, okay? Uh, I will get you. Okay, family, I got to go on now, okay? Love you much out there, every last one of y'all, even the trolls. You get mama's love too, okay? Somebody said mama loves unconditionally, okay? Look at that beautiful crescent moon up there. Y'all see that? Isn't that beautiful? And I went on a travel and I still didn't talk about the travel. I'm going to make sure tomorrow I talk about the travel, okay? Bye-bye. Love you much.